everyone, welcome to an interesting episode of Rock Tonight on Tuesday's edition as I bring to you all things that are going on on social media because your local celebrities are always up to something but I'm your plug making sure that you are in the know of everything all the gossip, all the latest trends, assumptions, speculations, whatever it is as long as it is trending, I am your girl. Right, my name is Chinyuba Daisy Mwan Power. You can just call me Chichi Daisy. I come to you twice in a week right here on Diamond TV at 22.30 as we look at all the dynamics of what happens on uh, social media. And lovely welcome to you, Channel 20 on Go TV and 271 on DSTV. Before I get into the nitty gritties of the show, a reminder that we are still giving out uh, Diamond Media Power Banks and some bundles as well. So make sure you head over to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mr. Bwanji. Diamond Media Power Bank and some bundles. This year's portiers are back and last night Banavala. You never know. The only way you get to find out is if you keep your eyes and ears locked on channel 20 on Go TV and 271 on DSTV, as well as making sure that you follow all our social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Otherwise, today is gonna be lit because your local celebrities have been busy. We're still reminiscing in what happened last weekend or past weekend rather that is Lusaka July and the chief uh, fashion police that is Stephanie uh, made his videos last night and obviously a lot of people were looking forward and excited so I must make mention that when I watch my video but uh, Mozambia video uh, and void <laughs> so I get to share some of the, the reviews views that Stephen did on his videos and also I do understand that the past few weeks we've been hearing news hey, this morning, I'm one. now I know that information is really famous on TikTok today I have got some receipts to share with you and also a lot of people would you know trash talk and bully David Kazadi but today he proves why he is producing and also a judge and fully involved in what's been happening on social media on the singing competition the icons Zambia. Right, let's take a break for now. Nigga, boy, that way, buke, buke. Lovely, welcome back. You're still watching the up tonight. Now, when you see the girl seated, you know it's about to go down. Now, let's kick start the trends by looking at a video that I came across of David Kazadi. Now, David Kazadi, the past few, oh my god, Kazadi, <laughs> David Kazadi, David Kazadi, in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a way he pronounces in it. But now, Kula Kuma. Kuma UK, well, it depends. Ngadunga ya ku Belfast, ku London, ku um, niku tukui nangu. Kuma areas kuna ngu na kupusana pusana. Ireland, there's, there's, okay, I don't know where the island is. It anyway, unga ulu vyanya geography pa nupa TV live na papa. Please forgive me. All I'm going to say is that people from the UK, they, um, they all have a very strong accent. Yes, I meant to say people, but it Scotland side, but it a bit different. Na but it could Kulanda ni, but it could Belfast. What person I could on here and there, right? But whatever the case, sometimes what pesati, chipa vika kukoti uza misa kazungu susa mbera bueno bueno. But when you spend some time with then when you the more you have conversations with people that have stayed there uh africans that have relocated back to their african uh, countries and stuff like that the more time you spend with them our man shows up is got one back on there and david gazadi was like that when he just came back to uh when he came to zambia right and one of the words that stood out when David Kazadi is talking is in it. <laughs> That's the way he just pronounces it. Now, David Kazadi came up with uh, the icon Zambia, Pajawa Maimba, Vidwo Pusana Pusanawara, Baba Imba. And, um, you know, the, the show itself just started with a lot of controversy, right? Uh, because of the people that were selected as judges. We did see Kiddis was part of the judges. And people are saying, what is Kiddis doing there? She can't even sing, da da da. But some people came to argue and say, Kiddis can actually sing. There's been a few times when there's a video of kids trying to sing here and there. You know, like a chili motorimoto. 
Koi Mbakari but she's just never really taken it like seriously, gone in the booth, I mean, gone in the studio and production and the whole shebang, right? After that controversy, uh, people are just like, David should have been in the background, like, you know, how can you be the judge? You also finish up produce, you want to do a lot of things. Kapena could direct it and say, I don't know, there were so many speculations on social media, but people were calling for David Kazadi to be in the background because they were saying he doesn't understand music and shebang. And, you know, David Kazadi also, uh, another conversation is that he's done great stuff with Mordecai, you know, Mordecai kumia bachebe nish, mm, alikasaza basi, amaji, mm, Mordecai azista kataput manja, baso wele na ma, na ma big dogs in the industry, right? So there's been that, you know, debate as well. But whatever the case, I can show, I will show Mandin, it took off despite all the controversies and stuff like that. There was even a, a phase where Chela Tukuta was advocating for, uh, for one of the um, gentlemen, kuti ya iu yu muntu, but amu shita mi street, but apa show, it was a lot, honestly. I'm giving you a background story so that you understand where I am coming from with this trend. In a nutshell, the icon started with a lot of controversy with David himself, with the judges themselves over there. And now we've got the likes of Wesley Ruth Ronnie that have joined the squad for the judges. And David Azadi is still a judge. And as of last night, he proved to a lot of people as to why he needs to sit on that chair. Incredible, incredible vocals from this guy. I want to be an icon. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Sorry that I couldn't get to you. Anywhere I would have followed you. section you can tell that that one sure in fact i think we owe david kazaji an apology we are so sorry so i like what they've been doing uh i think a few days ago we did see a uh, wazi also taken to stage with one of the contestants but in my group so i go and my group right and david kazadi it was just so good to see him like be in his element those of us that follow david kazadi on tiktok we know that he can sing but as you know facebook is for the streets hey but in your course are reasoning na uh, a logic so we've adjusted to Facebook and TikTok. But TikTok, na ku Instagram, okay. But TikTok and Facebook, I think it go balance. But my auntie, bariko na ba kombo bariko. Ah, but Instagram, oh, is for the money. But yeah, come back to David Kazadi. So this particular video, a lot of people have been resharing and saying, no, I think we owe David Kazadi an apology and stuff like that because the guy is is talented. He's got an ear and an eye for art and a lot of people don't seem to appreciate that maybe it, it might be packaged in not a way that a lot of people are used to maybe because which I would exposure many early nigh but whatever the case it was so good to see certain people really just come in the comment section and say Devin Kazadi we are so we <laughs> let's move on to another video uh, that I know was a trend about some weeks ago because we've been hearing Kuti Yai uh, Dismo has got a child with Tinta, the long-time girlfriend. Now, before we go to the child, what has Tinta done to you guys? Even the other time I asked, 
Why is it that every time Tinta's video is reshared on other platforms, you know, bloggers, the way they do, where you post like on your personal account, and then they take it because obviously maybe a socialite, you're a celeb, you're a celebrity in in some way, right? But you find that people are just like, hey, we're evil, you, hey, at fundo, you, instead of course, fetching the baby, hey, ABCD, and stuff like that. But yes, obviously, on her platform is people that genuinely love her, but when she's re reposted on other platforms, you find that some comments they shock me like i don't think tinta has ever done anything like she doesn't she barely even speaks she just dances she's a very happy girl like what is it where's the problem what's happening what's the matter like i don't get it but anyway as you can uh, uh, clearly see from her social media platforms she's a very bubbly uh, young lady has been a, in a relationship with uh, Dismo for a very long time Dismo is a well known loved uh, hip hop artist here in Zambia multi award nominee um winner as well if i'm not mistaken so yeah it, it, it it's just that they they are both in the public domain well obviously tinta also has got her own following of some sort but because of dismo as well now we can just call them like a celebrity couple right so um we did see some pictures that were trending last two not last week some few weeks ago that they have a child and um those of us that follow these guys on tiktok personally i didn't pay attention i'll be very honest but i was like ah, let me take an interest let me see what is going on and yeah i came across some videos that indicate that oh my goodness me these people actually have a baby together because you know sometimes social media can be wild <laughs> it can be too much sometimes but yeah um i have a look at this video uh, this beautiful video of tinta dancing uh with what we can call her son as we can confirm right no yes yeah have a look at this Let me have a good dance in a bay and two. Everything was just fine. Now my suka na zipeza na ba dance floor. Ba di je kuni ona. Ba kondo na nole zabo kani mbone so konda. Kani kiri kiri nosi ya. Ija ni mo imaleta masa. Mbone si ya ne kani ba kotiga. Nosi mani wa kotiga. Ramela di, ramela di. Kuzi sa ne mo. Ramela di mbone marite, marite. Right, it seems that baby is going to be dancing a lot because mommy is super hyped and mommy is super active. You need to love Mutinda, but yeah, a good, um, a wonderful rather congratulations to Dismo and Tinta. And yes, uh, being parents is a lot of work, but it is indeed a blessing. It's so good to celebrate these guys, celebrities that are having babies and showing on social media. Yesterday, I was just talking about Lisa and Andrea as my crushes, and it's so good to see um, now Dismo and Tinta. I, I might be late to the party but i'm so happy that this is going on because sometimes you know um as as socialites so much is taken away from us and it's a huge risk to put out certain things on social media and those that put i respect because i know that there must have been a lot of process going on there must have been a lot of conversations as to showing the pregnancy on social media showing the baby on social media so a big big congratulations i might be late to the party but i would not stop saying it a big congratulations to tinta and dismo let's quickly move on to the trend that has been going on past few days that i could not avoid that is the ninth edition of the lusaka july that is um you know that took place on uh, sunday yesterday season on sunday and as you know the chief fashion police himself stephanie uh posted some photos and uh yeah people judge for themselves people say now it's an army but majority i must say say now and i gorgeous and onika wonderful and fantastic in fact as of last night i did see that uh the, uh, the actual fashion police page <laughs> it's so weird eh? run by bubu posted a screenshot that was later deleted uh, allegedly uh where chila tukuta said uh, you know it was like Ngefi, you know talking about stephanie and stuff like that you know um insinuating that he's not in the right state the right he's not the right person to do the reviews that he should let the reviews be done by chanda brian that was chila tukuta's stance and i, I hear that that post was actually deleted but bubu <laughs> fast fast we're not thinking about social media <laughs> It's wild, my guy. You can post 
something uh two seconds later i think oh my god nobody took a screenshot no way nah. somebody must have taken a screenshot so yeah, that is, um, you know, what is going on with the um, Lusaka July as of last night. Also, we did see yesterday, I did talk about the beef that is currently going on between uh, Stephanie and uh, Ben Lombe. Now, I, I don't know by now, but clearly it's because of different opinions, different stances about about the Lusaka July. And also, I did see Ivanka Bianca also coming through talking about it. The aspect of uh, people who are not invited should not be, uh, should not go in and they are a lot of pretentious people that attend the Lusaka July. It's a whole lot of a shebang, but this is the Lusaka July year in, year out. I must say it's good publicity, because as you know, in the industry, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Yes, yeah, sometimes the niggas, some, some comments can be negative, but it's okay, as long as it's good for um, the event itself, it's good for the entertainment industry. Right, let's quickly get, uh, get into why I'm talking about Stephanie today. He did his videos, he did his reviews, and I could not wait to share them on the show i did my own yesterday and i understand that law and vogue vida is going to do her own as well but there's just something about stephanie's reviews they're so comical they're so <laughs> they're hilarious right there's certain things that he can say that we can't say on tv so <laughs> Sometimes I'm as good as I love that. But yeah, let's see some clips of what Stephanie had to say. After that, we take a break. When I get back, we continue with the rest of the show. Uh, Lona. Lona, I think she's one of the best dressed. Lona tried. Lona killed this. I love how the the dress is. When I'm a this material, and I'll put the makeup was on point. The hair girl, give us something. I love this. Yo, 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 Lona, you killed this. It's she's one of my favorites. Kubakaz, oh, she did it. At yours, closet, Onan. Devin and Macam, Onan, Zmenis. And I think of a my Bamborim, Bamborim, I saw him with a tuk closet, and then Casacrenconis, Po, Muzidanda, Aunda, Kumarima, Tawa, Oku, Kumafa, Muzipitana, Pitana. Just find new meaning, just get inspired, you know. It's like Langoni new inspiration. Chief Kevin Bambokang, one of the hot baroon, it's giving hot baroon, hot air baroon. Chief, what is this? It's giving maternity, Mongani bride, you know, Anana Kerezek, and Anna Werekete, so man, I be sad in a family dress. Since I've gone to step one. This girl, I think she looked the part. I love this design. Though it looks like something that I've seen on Bonang before. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, I think it was in... What color was that? Black? I'm not so sure, but I saw this Kudi Bonang. So if that's the inspo, I think it looks okay. It's not bad. I like it. Mm. Onani. Oh, this is in my campus minis. I have a corner can a designer. Man, yeah. A designer, and I start designing jackets. Yeah, or you only come to my papa. It's giving a real church. Yeka, yeka jacket. It's giving fake deliverance. It's, it's giving fake profits. Now you're drowsy. Oh, my God. I'm in a. Yeah. I'm one. This is not going to be. This is now. I'm in my. Next. Hmm. Edna, the people's bee. Edna, a papa cow bee, no, no, monga, munachita, munafinga cow bee, one, did manning is it is squeezed. Well, now, peasant got fresh milk, pamania, a barrel con the cock, your peasant got fresh milk, a carezy, a carasawa, mum cow bee, to cut your chitas minis. Eco set a nomna varam cat in my mass in a con de mumena and dera or cocondo fica or cocustani cohipo. Asembe na pea sabe mwufu niko pere la koseti na papa tanuti ikafike paka kukonse kumachiteni. Otherwise, this year I think Edna tried. The makeup is perfect, the hair, we like it.
Today is the 1st of October and there are so many promises that were made by different people, different organizations and one of them is Zesco Don Sobama. Uh -uh, please give these people a chance now. Uh -uh, give them a chance. Uh, I've already seen on social media people are saying, Eva, hey, Zesco promised that, promise that in October, Lord Shedding is reducing it. Zankara na Bwanji, but Basa ni koni chance wana mungu. But but it is first October chabi. My you never know what can happen. Otherwise, you could pressure Muno Muzambia. What I'm trying to say is that take a ball up and she dear. Fiala chitika. I'm sure people have got solar and my inventors are just like whatever my it. All plus the sun has been sunning in Lusaka. Yesterday I've been posted 35 degrees Celsius in Lusaka. I hear that it was going as high as 40 degrees Celsius in Livingston. Kumamba kuma for the chakuda. That's like yo, we should be grateful for the 35 degrees in Lusaka. So yeah, a lot of anticipation, but let's wait. Take a bola 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 fanshi. Right, so I am wearing these gorgeous shoes. I'm having a very bad breakout on my feet. So certain uh, parts of my feet I have hidden until further notice, until I am done with my uh, treatment. Legs and hands exam. But 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 yeah. So thank you so much for watching the wrap tonight. I gotta go as per usual. A reminder that you need to keep your eyes and ears is locked on Diamond TV Channel 20 on Go TV and 271 on DSTV because we are giving out Diamond Media Power Banks and also we are giving out some bundles from Sayurade Kutima Poti as now we are back in the building for 2024 so make sure that Muziwe Zosi Zemfunika Kuziwa by making sure to make sure to make Diamond TV and also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel right I need to go but as for usual let me share with you my crush crush is today plural <laughs> <laughs> because these ladies, Chichi and Monday, have been outdoing themselves in the industry, both entertainment and corporate as well. But there was such an event when a PR girl, Spazam Vega, Chichi and Monday were here. That is why today I want to give them their flowers, you know, starting from just organizing events, product launch, uh, you know, corporate events, Tindaku Safari, a picnic safari, we go to Lusaka July. My goodness me, Miss Universe just recently. Ah, oh, Manchua, let's give these ladies a flowers that they deserve i know it's a lot of work public scrutiny uh public criticism it's a lot and i remember having a conversation with the ladies and it's good that they know each other's strengths is clear indicated uh, clearly indicated that one is really into public appearance and public speaking while the other one has got her own strengths you know what i mean but they complement each other and i love it and today these two ladies are my crush for the wrap tonight let's give them the flowers that they deserve while they are still here all right thank you so much my name is chimba daisy mwansel sumba remember to join me every monday and tuesday right here on diamond tv at 22 30 talking all things that are going on on social media until next week and we're keeping locked to you diamond tv